for the planning director to return the staffing options with a half a position for code enforcement. So staffing could be four or four point five. Is that the intent of the motion maker? Staffing I'm options. Sorry, what? Staffing options. Did you mean at just four FTE, or did you mean could be four, could be four point five? Yeah, could be either one. That's the intent. Who was the second? Me? Yes, that was my intent too. That <laughs> was, but I want to make sure it was me. Okay. Um, yes. I think this is really more appropriate for the budget process where we're looking at all the positions where we should be cutting out water beach. I mean, we don't have all the things in front of us. We're like, pick this out. It's kind of like the fee for night parking. It's pulled out, what, 60000 out of our revenues before we got into the budget. I mean, I just think we should. It's another month and a half. You can probably, you got contract, you could survive for a month and a half. Let's do the process instead of before we even get into it, we're cutting the half of the position. And this was the administration's choice. I didn't put it on the agenda. So I just want to know would that be, because that, you're, I mean, the village manager put it on the, on the agenda. Oh, sure. I mean, we've been talking about it for some time. And we, we did this purposely because we thought that there would be. A, some level of consensus from the board so we'll be able to provide us with direction. Our intent here is really just to try to move forward as expediently as we can. If you're not, after the last meeting, I'll, I'll go back to that again, I said to Barth, I don't know if they're going to be able to make a decision. So we'll get as ready as we can for when they can. And then be ready to launch an RFP for those additional mm -hmm. services. So I can make the decision now, but trust you weren't. Oh, I was just scratching my head. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh. Sorry, I'm getting on the corner of my eye. I don't want to ignore anyone. Um, I mean, can I? Can I you, you wanna? I just want to make a request. If, if, you know, if there's some doubt about whether we're going to be able to make a decision, then I, I would prefer we not have things on the agenda because we've spent, you know, I don't know how much time talking about this, and I don't think we're going to make a, a decision. And I think part of the frustration of how long our meetings go and how we tend to run around issues, you know, is maybe because issues are being brought that aren't really right for us to make decisions on. Thank you. Trustee Buckers. I just want to say that um, I, I'm hearing two different things. I'm hearing that the intent is to cut the code enforcement. And that right. before, to me, it was Maybe I misunderstood, but that this was a budgetary issue, and we we're talking about those. We're wrapping it in that. But I'm hearing different things now. I'm hearing that this is a. So um, anyway, I don't agree with the motion as stated um, because of, I don't think again. I think it's up to the department to determine where their needs are best met. If they have four full-time people, five full-time people, or four, four and a half. So I don't feel comfortable making the decision on where they should have um, of those of those. Um, I, I do think that this is, it, it, it's a little bit of both. Mm -hmm. um, it's a budget issue, but it's also an attrition issue. And so, you know, we would like to not lay somebody off. And when we have an opportunity where somebody has vacated a position and talk about some other options for filling it to get to our budget gap is where I sort of see it being really kind of both issues. And I definitely can understand that if we decide to put that off until the budget, conversation that does make sense to me but I, I do think that it's something that we really need to think about I mean potentially if we fill this position and we can't fill our budget gap we're going to end up having to lay somebody off so you know it is <coughs> it is best in almost all circumstances to to you know fill that or, or to not fill a position for attrition and um, I, I think for me that's a big a big part of it and I'm happy to put it up till budget so we can get through the next large part of our agenda. Can, can I ask something about <clears throat> um, the motion um, it, for the it sounds like there's a couple of people that have already made up have a have a very strong opinion. There are I've heard from two board members that kind of want to take it. So I think that the sticky point is we're not there's certain board members aren't going to change they know you know what what they want to do. Would going through I mean the, the motion was going to bring back some options for costs, you know, because if you hire someone from the outside, it's 4.5, and um, if, but the decision by that motion to vote on it tonight is we're okay with a lower level of code enforcement. 
I don't know that the, their opinion is going to come back and change on that. They've pretty much studied this to death and are saying to us, it's our decision. You know what I'm saying? Like, we're going to go back and forth with telling the administration, we want to wait till budget because you need to tell us more. I don't know if, I think, I, I really have a preference that we take a vote tonight on the motion that's on the table. And if you're not comfortable with that, then I would vote no. And we can still further then it doesn't, we didn't make a motion of what to do. If you vote it down, then we're going to talk about it in budget. Is that correct? Is that correct? So I still would like to give staff some direction because if we do have a majority on the board where that opinion of service level isn't going to change, I hear from our staff saying we have nothing more to give you on that unless I'm paraphrasing it wrong. I don't know what else is going to, what you're going to say back. I don't want to waste your time, and I, I've heard your your ask, both your asks, so we would like some direction if we can get it. Trustee Bonkers. And what I heard from staff is that the easier position to fill half-time or contract out is not the code of compliance, or code enforcement, excuse me. So that's why I'm saying that the motion as it stands, if we're looking for a reduction in staff, that's one thing. If we're looking for a reduction in code enforcement, and staff is telling us that that's not the avenue that they suggest as the experts in the field, then I think this is incongruent. So I understand what you're saying, then, then, then yes, we should make a decision tonight. Are we going to tell staff to do something that they're telling us that they don't think is in the best interest of the village? Or, you know, so, so if the motion that's not budgetarily based, it's just our opinion based. Sure, so if the motion was changed, I, I'm trying to find this deep point. If the motion was changed to say, not 50% or whatever, but at a reduced level, is that helpful? Because like, I, I hear what you're saying. You don't like that it's 50%. I hear what you're no, saying. No, I don't like that we're talking to cut code enforcement versus if it's, a, if it's a budgetary issue and we ask them to, to bring back at a later date so that we can discuss this during the budget cycle. I completely okay. agree with that. But if we're making a policy decision tonight based on a lower level of code enforcement, that's a completely different so well, what I heard from the trustees that don't have an opinion, I'm just trying to get to, to get us to a call to question or something, um, isn't necessarily the level of code enforcement. I think that people have a general feel of that, board members. It's more of the budgetary of how do we reduce, this is a vacancy, and so. For me, I think it is, it's a vacancy, it's a budgetary issue, and I think that there does need to be more clear direction for for code and enforcement compliance, whatever it is, um, because there are different needs in different parts of the community. And so, what is that? What is that focus on the southeast quadrant versus the northeast versus the northwest quadrant? And and how do we how do we make sure that we're prioritizing the limited hours that we have? I think Rebecca definitely nailed it on the head that we need to prioritize what that what those code enforcement needs are and what we want them to focus on. At a 50% level, at a reduced level, at 100%, I just want to get to what we can vote on tonight, if anything. We do, would that information come, would we have those discussions before budget? I mean, I think that we, I, I think the hang up for me in, in the motion is, is the reduction of that particular position. I think there needs to be some sort of reduction within the department just based on the attrition that's happened. And I think if we can get that let the department decide that, okay. um, and then if we need to come back to it in, in budget, we have that, we still sort of have that to fall back on. Thank you. And thanks for the clerk next. I think you guys are, are saying the same thing, what I'm hearing. Um, I disagree in the sense that from the input I'm getting as a legislator, I feel pretty um, strongly to give direction with a vote to say where that would fall. I, I don't think we're going to be off, though. I, I think we're going to come back. We, we heard from Rebecca. And, um, so I don't think it's different. I just wanted to say I'm pretty comfortable giving some direction on what service, because we're always asked by Rebecca, if you hear every single time, what level of service are you comfortable reducing? And I don't know that we're, we're just playing volleyball in the sense of, at least me and her, all right? Because it's, we always say, She'll say back to me, well, what are you comfortable with and based on your, you represent the residents? And then I'll say, well, what are you recommending? And so I just feel like that volley is going to go back and forth. I think we'll get there. I, I just don't know where to end that volley. Like, whose court is it in? Um, because I don't think Rebecca's, you haven't given a strong recommendation 
obviously it's not the packet, so that's why I would have already goes back. So I don't know whose court it's going to land on if it's not ours. But the good news is that we get there together. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Trust me on that. I'd like to call the question. Okay. And I'd like to vote the motion. Is it <laughs> okay, well, first we vote on the call and the question, and then we'll, we'll go over the motion on the table. But before, uh, no, I just have to know if. Okay, if, if it's process oriented. It is process oriented. Okay. How would somebody vote if they were um, wanting to have this conversation, have this discussion in a budgetary realm? Would you vote no? <laughs> I mean, you know what I mean? It's procedurally. Okay, but can we call the question and then address the process? On how well, to yeah, we don't have a, a, a you know what, so we can ask for a clarification at this point. But it's not a clarification on how it's Well, well we, would have have it, we haven't gotten a S E C O N D. Yeah, I have it. Okay. Oh, you do. Okay. So we're calling the question. You want to read the motion again, even though it's not the calling the question? Yes. To reduce full time equipment for code enforcement to a half a position, and for the planning director to return the staffing options with a half a position for code enforcement. So we are calling the question. We can't amend it, because the, unless you want to vote no to calling the question. OK, so we have a question. Um, all those in favor of the motion, uh, no, I'm calling, calling the question, say <laughs> aye. Aye. Uh, any opposed? Motion carries. Now we will go straight to the motion. And if there's process questions, feel free. That's right. I think I think are you sure? OK. Anybody else? All right. Um, could you reread it one more time, and then we'll call it. We'll yeah. Trustee Amento moved to reduce the full-time equipment for code enforcement to a half a position, and for the planning director to return the staffing options to the half a position for code enforcement with President Rosen. Rosen. Okay. All those in favor say aye. Uh, aye. Any opposed? Nay. Okay. Motion carries. So now fails. maybe we. Fail. Oh, motion fails. fails. I'm sorry. <laughs> so does that mean? So now I have a. I guess we question. should we should record the nay votes, right? They I think she's got them. Yeah. yeah. Um. So, uh, Attorney Mayor, what would be? Well, someone else can make a different motion, or we can just give we can just give no direction and have a discussion for not. Oh, just you one. I, I move to consider uh, the matter as part of the budgetary process. Can we do that simple? Or? Mm -hmm. In other words, implicit in that to defer until the budgetary process. Yes. Second. Okay. Um, can you just state what needs to be in motion? To defer until to be uh, taken up at a later date as part of the budgetary process. Okay. Is that, is that your intent? <laughs> okay. I still second. Okay, so we have a motion and a second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Nay. Motion carries. Thank you. Um, yes. Um, so it is 10.03 and we'll be back before 10.10. And we should Oh, yeah. It's all good. Oh, yeah. It's all good. Yeah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>